Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the temporary track point to track multiple points that don't currently exist in your drawing. For example, maybe I want to start a new line or draw a circle somewhere within this room, um, let's say a couple of meters in, uh, a couple of meters up, and then one meter to the right along the x-axis. It would be difficult to do this, um, just placing it. Some people might draw a, a line across and try and figure out where it's going to be. Some people might move the UCS, but I'm going to show you how you can use the temporary track point to do this. So the prerequisites in this video, you're going to need snap on, and I'm going to have snap to the end point on only. And you're going to need to have the snap tracking on as well. So make sure that is on down there. Okay, so I started a uh, circle command. I'm going to track this endpoint here. And then I'm going to type TT. So I make sure that green line is active when I type the TT. And then I press enter. And then it's asking me for a distance. So let's give it three meters, in fact. You can see I have a new point three meters from the existing point. So now I can track my new point. And this time I'm going to type TT again whilst I'm tracking my new point. And we'll go for three meters again. And then my final point is actually where the circle will start. So this time I will just type 1000 to track my new temporary point, press enter, and it'll be a thousand from that point and the temporary track points will disappear. So something to note when doing a temporary track point, if you track a point and you give it a distance, let's say four meters this time. So first of all, tap TT, press enter and then say four meters in. You can see I have my point and then we'll do a TT again and do a thousand up. If I touch any of these points, they will disappear again. So I won't be able to track them anymore. And that's the same with whenever you're tracking any point. If you can activate them by touching them once, deactivate them by touching them again. The other thing to note is if you zoom, it will deactivate as well. So just be careful. Don't touch the existing points and don't zoom while you're doing a temporary track point. Hope this is of use. Uh, please feel free to contact Madam Machine if you have any more questions. Thanks for listening. Bye.